And finally, we want to check in with the firefighter who made medical history by getting a face transplant. Doctors here in New York say that they're amazed at the progress he's made after just one year. WABC's Michelle Charlesworth has a chance to speak with him. Where does it attach? It's right there on my neck. So it's a, so it's a neck scar. And it goes all the way around. There's one that comes into the back. That's it. That's his hair. Yeah, this is everything. Everything is the same. His hair, you know, everything. His ears. Huge difference. This was 42-year-old Patrick Hardison a year ago. He had no hair or eyelids. 70 surgeries over 14 years had let him down. They basically told me in a nice way that they couldn't give me what I wanted. <gasps> and I wanted to be normal again, and they couldn't do it. He lost his face in a fire as a volunteer firefighter in Mississippi. Patrick's face transplant could only happen after the death of 27-year-old David Rodebaugh, who died after a bicycle accident in New York. David was an organ donor, but donating a face after death takes more, and David's grieving mother decided to do it. I can't express the gratitude enough, I and mean, it's just it's amazing. She's given us our life back. Two months after his face transplant last fall, Pat went shopping. I was just that getting normal guy walking through the store. And it's, I hadn't had that in 14 years, so it was just, it was amazing. Before the surgery, Pat could not blink, had no eyelids, and had to sleep with his eyes open. He's a remarkable human being. We could not have selected a better patient. People don't stop and stare. People don't, there's no children that are screaming and crying um, or running away. People, he blends in, and in a world where everybody tries to be different, he just wanted to be normal, and now he has that normalcy. Patrick just went to Disney World with his family and had an uneventful, no stairs, no problems trip that he called wonderful. On the east side, Michelle Charlesworth, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. Amazing recovery. Though. Unbelievable survival.